last year um, had production early, had nine and a half sacks through the first nine games, um, only a half a sack in his last seven and, and was inactive. Um, I, I know you wrote an article about this. Um, so his production went down as the season went on. Uh, why shouldn't the Browns be alarmed by that or should they be alarmed by that? Well, there are some extenuating circumstances uh, for, for why some of that happened. It's not like it's some big mystery, and it's not like he played horribly in those final seven games of the season. What happened is on November 13th, when they were beating the Bills, he suffered a knee contusion. He was in the middle of a monster game. He was in the midst of getting nine pressures for the second straight week and a sack in that game. But he suffered a knee contusion, and he was never really the same the rest of the season. In addition to that, teams really caught up to him and realized, you know, we cannot let him, you know, just be out here, you know, getting to the quarterback wreaking havoc, being so disruptive. We've got to get other bodies on him. And so they did that. They started focusing on him a lot more. Uh, despite the fact that they did that, he was able to get six pressures uh, on two occasions in those last seven games and five pressures in uh, one of those games in the last seven. So it wasn't like he just was sitting around doing nothing in the final stretch. He was still being very, very disruptive and productive and paving the way for Daniil Hunter to get some of his sacks. So, uh, you know, now that the knee is healthy, he passed his physical. I think the Browns have a big comfort level uh, with him coming in here and being the first half guy.